When we strive for a satisfying life, we often encounter tough challenges that feel impossible to overcome. It is at these times that we can seek guidance from Marcus Aurelius, a wise philosopher and emperor of Rome. His teachings urge us to accept the world as it is, without fighting against it. He reminds us that the more we try to control or change our situations, the more difficult they can become. By embracing this understanding, we can find inspiration and motivation to face life's obstacles with poise and strength. Number 1. Embrace the world as it is, without resistance. In a world full of constant change and unpredictability, it is essential to embrace the reality around us rather than resisting it. Marcus Aurelius teaches us that true peace and contentment can only be attained by accepting the world as it presents itself to us. Resisting the natural flow of life often leads to unnecessary suffering and frustration. We may find ourselves struggling against circumstances that are beyond our control, causing immense stress and discontentment. However, by adopting a mindset of acceptance, we can find solace in the midst of chaos. Embracing the world as it is does not mean being passive or complacent. It means acknowledging the reality of our circumstances and working with them rather than against them. It requires us to let go of our desires for things to be different and instead focus on making the best of what we have. When we resist the world, we create an internal struggle that drains our energy and prevents us from fully experiencing the present moment. We become entangled in a web of negative emotions such as anger, frustration, and disappointment. However, when we choose to embrace the world, we open ourselves up to a sense of freedom and inner peace. By accepting the world as it is, we can find opportunities for growth and learning in every situation. We become more adaptable and resilient, able to navigate life's challenges with grace and equanimity. We understand that change is inevitable, and rather than fearing it, we learn to flow with it. Embracing the world requires a shift in perspective. It is about recognizing that we are part of a larger whole, interconnected with everything and everyone around us. We let go of the illusion of control and surrender to the natural order of things. In doing so, we find a sense of harmony within ourselves and with the world. Embracing the world as it is without resistance is a powerful philosophy that Marcus Aurelius teaches us. By accepting the reality of our circumstances, we free ourselves from unnecessary suffering and open ourselves up to a deeper sense of peace and contentment. It is through this acceptance that we can truly thrive and find meaning in our lives. Number 2. Pay attention to how you respond to situations. How we respond to the situations life presents to us has a profound impact on our overall well-being and happiness. Marcus Aurelius emphasizes the importance of paying attention to our responses as they shape our perception of reality and determine the quality of our experiences. In the face of challenges and difficulties, it is natural to have emotional reactions. However, by cultivating self-awareness and mindfulness, we can gain control over our responses and choose how we engage with the world. Paying attention to our responses means observing our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors in various situations. It requires us to step back and reflect on our automatic reactions, allowing us to develop a deeper understanding of ourselves. When we react impulsively and without awareness, we often find ourselves caught in a cycle of negativity. We may respond with anger, frustration, or fear, which only perpetuates the cycle of suffering. However, by consciously observing our responses, we can interrupt this pattern and choose more constructive ways to engage with life's challenges. By paying attention to our responses, we can develop a greater sense of emotional intelligence. We become aware of our triggers, biases, and habitual patterns of thinking. This awareness allows us to respond with greater wisdom and discernment rather than being driven solely by our emotions. Marcus Aurelius encourages us to cultivate a mindset of equanimity and resilience. By observing our responses without judgment, we can develop a sense of detachment from external circumstances. This detachment allows us to respond with clarity and objectivity, rather than being swept away by the turbulent currents of life. 
Paying attention to how we respond also enables us to cultivate empathy and understanding towards others. When we are aware of our own reactions, we become more attuned to the experiences and emotions of those around us. This deepens our connections with others and fosters a sense of compassion and kindness. Paying attention to how we respond to situations is a fundamental aspect of personal growth and well-being. By cultivating self-awareness and mindfulness, we can choose our responses consciously rather than being driven by automatic reactions. This empowers us to navigate life's challenges with greater wisdom, resilience, and compassion. Ultimately, by paying attention to our responses, we can shape our experiences and create a more fulfilling and meaningful life. Number 3. Welcome challenges and difficulties as opportunities for growth. Challenges and difficulties are an inevitable part of life. However, rather than viewing them as obstacles to be avoided, Marcus Aurelius encourages us to welcome them as opportunities for growth and development. When we face challenges, we are forced out of our comfort zones and into new territory. This can be uncomfortable and even painful, but it also presents an opportunity for us to learn and grow. By embracing these challenges, we can develop new skills, gain new perspectives, and become more resilient in the face of adversity. Welcoming challenges requires a mindset of curiosity and openness. Rather than fearing the unknown or clinging to the familiar, we approach each situation with a sense of wonder and a willingness to learn. This allows us to see challenges as opportunities for growth rather than as threats to our well-being. By viewing challenges in this way, we also cultivate a sense of empowerment we recognize that we have agency in our lives and that we can choose how we respond to difficulties. Rather than being victimized by circumstances, we become active participants in our own growth and development. Marcus Aurelius also emphasizes the importance of perseverance in the face of challenges. He reminds us that growth and progress often require sustained effort over time. By persevering through difficulties, we develop a sense of inner strength and resilience that can serve us well in all areas of life. Welcoming challenges also requires a willingness to let go of our attachment to outcomes. We recognize that the process of growth is more important than any specific result. By detaching ourselves from external outcomes, we can focus on the journey itself and find meaning in the pursuit of our goals. By embracing the unknown with curiosity and perseverance, we can develop new skills, gain new perspectives, and become more resilient in the face of adversity. Ultimately, by viewing challenges as opportunities for growth, we can create a more fulfilling and meaningful life. Number 4. Cultivate self-control and stick to a routine. In order to achieve our goals and live a fulfilling life, it is important to cultivate self-control and establish a routine that supports our growth and well-being. Marcus Aurelius believed that self-discipline was essential to living a virtuous life and that a well-established routine could help us maintain this discipline over time. Self-control is the ability to regulate our thoughts, emotions, and behaviors in order to achieve our goals. It requires us to have a clear understanding of our values and priorities and to make conscious choices that align with these principles. By cultivating self-control, we can overcome distractions, temptations, and impulses that might otherwise hinder our progress. One of the most effective ways to cultivate self-control is by establishing a routine. A routine provides structure and consistency in our lives, making it easier to stay focused on our goals. It also helps us develop habits that support our well-being, such as regular exercise, healthy eating, and adequate sleep. Marcus Aurelius believed that a well-established routine could help us maintain our self-discipline, even in the face of adversity. By sticking to a routine, we create a sense of stability and predictability in our lives. This can be especially helpful during times of stress or uncertainty, when it might be tempting to abandon our goals or give in to negative habits. However, sticking to a routine requires discipline and commitment. It can be challenging to maintain a consistent schedule in the face of competing demands and unexpected events. It requires us to prioritize our goals and make conscious choices about how we spend our time. In order to establish a routine that supports our growth and well-being, 
it is important to first identify our values and priorities. We must then create a schedule that reflects these principles and allows us to make progress towards our goals. This might involve setting aside specific times for work, exercise, self-care, and other activities that support our well-being. By cultivating self-control and sticking to a routine, we can create a sense of order and purpose in our lives. We become more focused, productive, and resilient in the face of challenges. Ultimately, by living with intention and discipline, we can achieve our goals and find fulfillment in all areas of life. By establishing habits that support our well-being and maintaining discipline even in the face of adversity, we can create a sense of order and purpose in our lives. This empowers us to live with intention and achieve our full potential. Number 5. Let go of attachments and learn to detach. One of the central teachings of Stoicism is the importance of letting go of attachments and learning to detach from external outcomes. Marcus Aurelius believed that our happiness and well-being depend not on external circumstances, but on our internal state of mind. By letting go of attachments, we'd free ourselves from the tyranny of external events and find a deeper sense of peace and contentment. Attachments are the things we cling to in order to feel secure or fulfilled. They might include material possessions, relationships, status, or even our own beliefs and opinions. While these attachments can provide temporary satisfaction, they also create a sense of dependence and vulnerability. We become attached to the things we fear losing, and this attachment can lead to anxiety, stress, and suffering. Learning to detach means letting go of these attachments and finding a sense of inner freedom and independence. It means recognizing that our happiness and well-being do not depend on external circumstances, but on our own attitudes and perceptions. Detachment requires us to cultivate a sense of equanimity and acceptance towards the world around us. Rather than resisting or clinging to external events, we learn to observe them with detachment and objectivity. We recognize that everything is impermanent and subject to change, and that our sense of self-worth and fulfillment must come from within. By letting go of attachments and learning to detach, we can find a deeper sense of peace and contentment in our lives. We become less reactive to external events and more resilient in the face of challenges. We also become more compassionate towards others, recognizing that they too are subject to the same impermanence and uncertainty as we are. However, detachment does not mean becoming indifferent or apathetic towards the world. It means recognizing that we are part of a larger whole interconnected with everything and everyone around us. It means engaging with the world with a sense of purpose and meaning, but without becoming attached to specific outcomes. By recognizing the impermanence of external events and finding a sense of inner freedom and independence, we can achieve a deeper sense of peace and contentment. Ultimately, by cultivating detachment, we can live with greater wisdom, compassion, and resilience in all areas of life. Number 6. Be fully present in the current moment. One of the key teachings of Stoicism is the importance of being fully present in the current moment. Marcus Aurelius emphasized the value of mindfulness and the power of focusing our attention on the present rather than dwelling on the past or worrying about the future. Being fully present means immersing ourselves in the here and now without being distracted by regrets or anxieties. It involves directing our attention to the present moment and embracing it with a sense of openness and curiosity. When we are fully present, we engage more deeply with our experiences and find greater meaning and fulfillment in everyday moments. We become more aware of our thoughts, emotions, and sensations, allowing us to respond to them with greater clarity and wisdom. Being present also enables us to cultivate a deeper connection with others. When we are fully engaged in a conversation or an interaction, we listen more attentively, empathize more deeply, and build stronger relationships. We become more attuned to the needs and experiences of those around us, fostering greater understanding and compassion. Practicing presence requires us to let go of distractions and cultivate a sense of focus and concentration. In a world filled with constant stimulation and information overload, this can be challenging. However, by intentionally directing our attention to the present moment, 
we can train our minds to be more present and attentive. Mindfulness meditation is a powerful practice that can help us develop the skill of being fully present. By regularly setting aside time to sit in stillness and observe our thoughts and sensations without judgment, we can strengthen our ability to be present in all aspects of our lives. Being fully present also means accepting the impermanence of each moment. We recognize that life is constantly changing and that each moment is unique and fleeting. This awareness deepens our appreciation for the present moment and encourages us to savor it fully. By cultivating mindfulness and directing our attention to the present, we can experience greater clarity, connection, and fulfillment. Ultimately, by embracing the present moment, we can live more deeply and authentically in all areas of life. Number 7. Foster Inner Strength and Resilience Fostering inner strength and resilience is a fundamental aspect of Stoic philosophy. Marcus Aurelius believed that building inner strength is essential for navigating the challenges and uncertainties of life with grace and equanimity. Inner strength refers to the cultivation of qualities such as courage, perseverance, and self-discipline. It is the ability to remain steadfast in the face of adversity, to stay true to our values, and to maintain a sense of calm and composure even in difficult circumstances. Resilience, on the other hand, is the capacity to bounce back from setbacks and to adapt to change. It is the ability to learn from failures and setbacks, to find meaning in difficult experiences, and to emerge stronger and wiser. To foster inner strength and resilience, we must first cultivate self-awareness. This involves developing an understanding of our strengths, weaknesses, and values. By knowing ourselves deeply, we can identify areas for growth and work towards strengthening our character. Practicing self-discipline is another key component of fostering inner strength. It involves making conscious choices that align with our values, even when it may be easier to give in to temptation or take the path of least resistance. By consistently acting in accordance with our principles, we build integrity and fortify our inner strength. Developing a growth mindset is also crucial for fostering resilience. This means embracing challenges as opportunities for learning and growth, rather than viewing them as insurmountable obstacles. By reframing setbacks as valuable lessons and remaining open to new possibilities, we can cultivate resilience and bounce back from adversity. Cultivating gratitude and practicing mindfulness are additional strategies for fostering inner strength and resilience. Gratitude helps us focus on the positive aspects of our lives and fosters a sense of resilience by reminding us of the abundance and blessings that surround us. Mindfulness, on the other hand, allows us to stay present and grounded, enabling us to respond to challenges with clarity and composure. Building a support network of trusted friends, mentors, or like-minded individuals can also contribute to our inner strength and resilience. Surrounding ourselves with supportive people who share our values can provide encouragement, guidance, and perspective during challenging times. By cultivating qualities such as self-discipline, self-awareness, gratitude, and mindfulness, we can navigate life's challenges with greater grace and equanimity. Ultimately, by building inner strength, we become more resilient individuals capable of thriving in the face of adversity. Number 8. Make choices that align with virtuous values and principles. According to Stoic philosophy, making choices that align with virtuous values and principles is essential for living a meaningful and fulfilling life. Marcus Aurelius emphasized the importance of living in accordance with our highest ideals and striving to be virtuous in all our actions. Virtuous values, such as honesty, compassion, courage, and justice, serve as guiding principles that help us navigate ethical dilemmas and make decisions that have a positive impact on ourselves and others. By aligning our choices with these values, we cultivate integrity and contribute to the betterment of society. To make choices that align with virtuous values, it is crucial to first identify and clarify our own personal values. Reflecting on what truly matters to us and what we believe to be morally right can provide a solid foundation for decision-making. This self-reflection allows us to establish a clear set of principles that can guide our actions. 
When faced with a decision, it is important to consider the potential consequences and implications of each choice. By evaluating the alignment of our options with our virtuous values, we can make choices that are consistent with our ethical beliefs. This may involve sacrificing short-term gains or personal desires in favor of long-term integrity and the greater good. Furthermore, cultivating self-awareness is crucial in making virtuous choices. By understanding our own strengths, weaknesses, and biases, we can identify areas where we may be prone to making decisions that conflict with our virtuous values. Being mindful of these tendencies allows us to pause, reflect, and consciously choose a path that aligns with our principles. It is important to note that making virtuous choices does not guarantee a life free from challenges or hardships. However, by consistently acting in accordance with our values, we develop a sense of inner peace and self-respect. We become individuals of integrity who can face adversity with courage and resilience. In addition, making choices that align with virtuous values can inspire others and create a positive ripple effect. Our actions serve as a model for those around us, encouraging them to also strive for virtue in their own lives. By embodying our values through our choices, we contribute to a more ethical and compassionate society. By consciously considering the alignment of our choices with our ethical beliefs, we cultivate integrity, contribute to the well-being of others, and live a more meaningful and fulfilling life. Number 9. Strive for balance in all aspects of life. Striving for balance in all aspects of life is a key principle in Stoic philosophy. Marcus Aurelius recognized the importance of finding equilibrium and harmony in our thoughts, emotions, actions, and relationships. Balance is about avoiding extremes and finding moderation in our pursuits. It involves recognizing that excessive attachment or indulgence in any area of life can lead to imbalance and dissatisfaction. By seeking a middle ground, we can cultivate a sense of equilibrium that promotes overall well-being. One aspect of striving for balance is maintaining a healthy perspective on external events and circumstances. This means not getting overly attached to success or overly discouraged by failure. By recognizing the impermanence and unpredictability of life, we can navigate its ups and downs with greater equanimity. Balancing our commitments and responsibilities is another important aspect of a well-lived life. It involves prioritizing our time and energy, ensuring that we allocate resources to various areas such as work, relationships, personal growth, and leisure. By avoiding excessive focus on one area at the expense of others, we can create a more harmonious and fulfilling life. Emotional balance is also crucial. It involves acknowledging and experiencing our emotions fully, while also maintaining a sense of calm and inner stability. Rather than being overwhelmed by intense emotions or suppressing them, we can strive to cultivate emotional resilience and respond to situations with clarity and composure. Furthermore, cultivating balance in our relationships is essential for healthy connections. It means nurturing both independence and interdependence, allowing space for individual growth, while also fostering meaningful connections with others. By practicing empathy, understanding, and effective communication, we can create harmonious and fulfilling relationships. Striving for balance also extends to self-care and well-being. It involves attending to our physical, mental, and emotional needs. This may include regular exercise, healthy eating, adequate rest, engaging in activities that bring joy and fulfillment, and seeking support when needed. By prioritizing self-care, we can maintain a state of balance that supports our overall well-being. By avoiding extremes and finding moderation, we can cultivate a sense of equilibrium and harmony. This allows us to navigate life's challenges with greater resilience, maintain healthy relationships, and promote overall well-being. Ultimately, by seeking balance, we can lead a more fulfilling and meaningful life. Number 10. Discover inner peace and tranquility within yourself. One of the ultimate goals of Stoic philosophy is to discover inner peace and tranquility within oneself. Marcus Aurelius emphasized the importance of cultivating a calm and serene mind, regardless of external circumstances. 
Inner peace is not dependent on external factors or the absence of challenges, but rather it is a state of mind that can be cultivated through intentional practice. It involves finding a sense of calm amidst the chaos of life and developing the deep-rooted tranquility that remains unaffected by external events. To discover inner peace, it is essential to cultivate self-awareness and mindfulness. By becoming aware of our thoughts, emotions, and reactions, we can observe them without judgment and choose how to respond rather than react impulsively. Mindfulness practices such as meditation and deep breathing can help us develop this awareness and create a space for inner peace to arise. Acceptance is another key aspect of finding inner peace. It involves embracing the present moment as it is without resistance or judgment. By accepting the reality of the present and letting go of attachment to outcomes, we can find peace in the midst of uncertainty and change. Practicing gratitude is also instrumental in discovering inner peace. By focusing on the positive aspects of our lives and expressing gratitude for them, we shift our perspective towards abundance and contentment. Gratitude helps us cultivate a sense of inner peace by reminding us of the blessings and joys that exist in every moment. Cultivating a mindset of detachment can also contribute to inner peace. This does not mean being indifferent or apathetic, but rather developing a healthy perspective towards external events and outcomes. By recognizing that we cannot control everything that happens around us, we free ourselves from unnecessary worry and anxiety, allowing space for inner peace to flourish. Self-reflection and introspection are important practices for discovering inner peace. Taking time to pause, reflect, and connect with our inner selves allows us to gain clarity, find meaning, and align our actions with our deepest values. Through introspection, we can uncover our true desires and aspirations, leading us closer to a state of inner peace. By cultivating self-awareness, practicing mindfulness, accepting the present moment, expressing gratitude, practicing detachment, and engaging in self-reflection, we can develop a deep sense of inner peace that remains unshaken amidst the challenges of life. Ultimately, by finding inner peace, we can experience greater clarity, contentment, and fulfillment in our lives. The philosophy of Marcus Aurelius offers invaluable wisdom for navigating the hardships of life. By embracing the world as it is, paying attention to our responses, welcoming challenges as opportunities for growth, cultivating self-control, letting go of attachments, being present in the current moment, fostering inner strength, making virtuous choices, striving for balance, and discovering inner peace within ourselves, we can learn to navigate the harder you try, the worse it gets phenomenon with grace and resilience. Let us embrace these teachings and find inspiration in our journey towards a meaningful and fulfilling life.